I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orvo Man products, including the Dot Destroyer book. I'm here with Professor Blois today going over a rare type of question on set theory. And I think you're going to be mind blown when you see how we go about doing it. So, Professor, if you can give us some pointers on a little bit of set theory. Okay, sure. And this is a very simple task. All you have to do is find the cardinality of each of these sets. Cardinality means how many elements are there in each set. Okay, so let's look at it. It's a good quantitative reasoning question, so that's why I thought it might be appropriate for the event here. So let's see, we have A. Set A is simply the counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc., 776, 777. How many elements are in that set? Well, the, the set counts itself. It did the work for us. The number of elements in this set is 777. No problem there. Let's go to the next set. Well, this set doesn't start with 1. It starts with 234. 234, 235, 236 all the way up to 777. Now, at first blush, you would think, well, all I have to do to find the cardinality of this set is subtract 234 from 777, but not so fast. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna subtract 233 from each element in this set. And I'll show you why I've chosen 233. It's because when I subtract 233 from the first element, I get one. From the second element, I get two. From the third element, I get three. I get the set of counting numbers. And once again, I have a set that's going to count itself. So I take, I subtract 233 from the final element of the set and I get 544. Well, it's the counting numbers from one to 544. The set has counted itself. Its cardinality is 544. All right, let's go to the next one. 5, 12, 19, 26, 33. Oh boy, what do we have here? Well, look at this. Notice that these are not consecutive numbers, but notice that they jump by 7 each time consistently. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 7 is 19, plus 7 is 26, etc., etc., etc. Well, when you think to yourself, what other mathematical structure jumps by 7? It would be the seven times table, right? The seven times table. So what I want to do is to make a simple arithmetic adjustment to make this look like the seven times table. What would that be? How about adding two to every single element in this set? Go right along and add two, add two, add two, add two, all the way along. What do we get when we do that? Five plus two is seven, 12 plus two is 14, 19 plus two is 21, 26 plus two is 28, hey, it's the seven times table, right? So we'll go right to the end, 777. How many elements in this uh, set here? Well, let's go through the next step. Let's try to make this the set of counting numbers so the work will be done for us. How about we divide each element by seven? Yeah, how about we do that? And when we do that, seven divided by seven is one. I can write this in a different color just to make it stand out. One, 14 over seven is two, 21 over seven is three, 28 over seven is four, 777 over seven is 111. So there we have it, the counting numbers from one to 111 with just some minor adjustments being made. The cardinality of set C, 111. And finally, we have this set. 28, 33, 38, 43, 48, 278, 283. What's going on there? Very similar. What, what are these numbers jumping by? They're jumping by five each time. 28 plus five is 33, plus five is 38, plus five is 43. So this looks like the five times table. So what I wanna do is operate on this, perform some simple arithmetic to make it look like the five times table. And how about subtracting 23? from both, from each element in this table. Subtract 23, subtract 23. Why subtract 23? Because look what I get. 28 minus 23 is five, 33 minus 23 is 10, 38 minus 23 is 15, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 283 minus 23 is gonna be equal to 260. So this is the five times table from five to 260. What do I do to make it look like the counting numbers? Divide each element by five. So we divide each element by five, divide each element by five, divide each element by five. What do we get? The counting numbers, one, two, three, and finally over here, what's uh, 260 over five? That's gonna be 50 
two. All right, and there we are. The cardinality of set D is 52. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that tape. Um, the word cardinality. Yeah. Um, I got to admit, never heard it. Oh, yeah, yeah. How it's, about molecularity? Do you know what that is? Uh, does that mean uh, how many that how much cheese is on a pizza? No, no. no. <laughs> so molecularity, that's in chemistry. So now, now I don't feel so stupid. I, oh, never, okay. I never heard cardinality oh, yeah. in my entire life. Okay, well, but at any rate, Professor Blois always comes up with really good questions. That's a great question. That's definitely oh. math destroyer worthy. Yeah, but, yeah, I thought so. Um, I thought we, we, we shared it with you guys, so make sure you know how to do that problem. The word of the day is cardinality. All right, we'll see you guys again when we do the next tape with Professor Blois and myself. Bye-bye, guys.